Let's see if we can compute what 14 minus 2 is, and then figure out what 14 minus 4 is, and then figure out what 14 minus 6 is. And I encourage you to pause this video and try to figure these out before I work through them. So I'm assuming you've given it a try. Now let's think about it. The number 14, just by how it's written, we know that it's going to be one group of 10, that's what this one tells us, plus another four ones. So let's verify that we have 14 objects down here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we definitely have a group of 10, and we have one group of 10 here. So that's my group of 10. So let me box that off. So I have my group of 10. And then how many ones do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have four ones. So this is indeed, this is indeed 14. This one that we have right over here, this represents this 10. It's one group of 10. This is one group of 10. Let me write that down. Group of 10. And then we have four ones. Four, four, we, I guess we could say four, four ones like that. So that is indeed 14. Now let's look at each of these. What is 14 minus 2 going to be? Well, we could take away two, so take away one, take away two, and how many are we left with? Well, we still have our one group of 10, so it's going to be one, followed by how many ones do we have left over? Well, we have two ones. We have two ones left over, one, two. So we are going to be left with 12. Now what about 14 minus four? So let me, let me clear this out. Gee, let me clear, let me clear, gee, let me do it like this. So if I clear that, so what is 14 minus 4 going to be? So now I'm going to take away 1, 2, 3, and 4. I've essentially taken away all four 1's. So what am I left with? Well, I still have my one group of 10. I still have my one group of 10. And I have zero ones left over. I have no ones anymore. So now I have zero ones. And so 14 minus 4 is 10. And that makes sense. 14 is 10 plus 4. And now we're subtracting 4 to get 10. Let me write this down. This is the same thing. 14 is 10 plus 4. 10 plus 4. This is 14. And then we're going to subtract 4. Then we're subtracting 4. So if you have 10 plus 4 minus 4, well, the 4 minus 4 is going to be 0. You're going to be left with 10 plus 0, or just 10. We can do the same thing up here. This is equal to 14 is 10 plus 4. 10 plus 4. And then we subtracted 2. And then we subtracted 2. So what you're going to be left with is 10 plus, what's 4 minus 2? It's 2. So that's what we got right over here. Let me make this very clear. This simplifies to 2. This 2 right over here. This simplifies to 0. This 0 right over here. Now let's do the last one. What is 14 minus 6? Well, we're going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 and 6. So now we've broken into our group of 10. So this is going to be a one digit number. And we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to 8. And we're all done.